okay that they all used the word flinch tonight so that he knew, all of them knew you guys wouldn't flinch uh, despite trailing for the first time. I'm curious, that flinch word has now come up the last two weeks on these roads. Is that something that you guys talk about as a team? Yeah, most definitely. Like, uh, we just, if we trailing in the game, you know, we just got to keep our composure and don't flinch, you know, uh, stay calm and collective. So, you know, that flinch word is big. Isaiah? Design, can you walk us through that uh, that hurdle in that long run? Oh, yeah, man, it was it was the open field. I, I just did it. I wasn't even thinking. I just, <laughs> just did it. Chris? Mozzie, have you seen that from him before in practice or anything? I see some crazy stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, though. Just talking a little bit, Mozzie, about the defense and how you guys responded after they came back and the last two stops you guys made. Uh, it's all about how you face adversity, how you respond to it. Uh, I think we did that well today. Uh, and I think that we need to continue to do that well to win games, you know, especially games like this, hard fought games, games that you earn, you know, uh, it was a big game today. What did they do in the second half to that kind of cut you guys off guard a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, every team go in and make halftime adjustments, you know, I just, we playing that middle. Yeah, no. so. Standing to the right, Michael. Son, in the, uh, in the third and fourth quarter, you guys had you know, a little bit of adversity there in terms of trailing for the first half of the season, and you respond with three consecutive scoring drives. Uh, what do you think that says about Cade bouncing back from his first career interception and the offense in general just to be able to, to rise up when you need it? Yeah, like I said, uh, any adversity that we face, you know, we always got to stay calm and collective. And uh, Cade did a bit of a nice job with that, and uh, I'll pat him on the back for it. You know, uh, great leader, you know, team leader. So we definitely kept he kept his composure. Standing in the back, Aaron. For both of you, you guys have won all kinds of different ways this year. What does this one rank? So you guys have won all, in all kinds of different ways this year. What does this one rank? It's just our competitive edge. You know, uh, it was a big time win. You know, two teams battling, and uh, thank God we came up, came on top. So. Stand up there, Sean. I'm curious, this is for either one of you. When the stadium went dark and fans put their flashlights on or cell phone flashlights, you guys were, you know, you had some fun on the sideline. You like, kind of like you do the jump run. Or is that organic? Do you want in that? Does it just happen? Uh, so you just got to keep the same energy. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get punched in the mob, you know, everybody say, everybody got a plan until you get punched in the mob. But uh, when we get punched, we still got that plan. And uh, it's still another quarter to play. You know. Got time for a few more, starting with Austin. Mozzie, what was your angle on, on Brad's uh, strip there? You said that's something you guys emphasize a lot in practice. Have you heard that before, too? Yeah. Kind of punch the ball out? Yeah, uh, great great defenses can get an offense the ball uh, and in any situation. You're always trying to win a situation. Uh, so we work on that all day, all the time. Time for a couple more for these guys, Zach. Uh, so I think you and Blake had another game where you didn't have any negative rushes. What What's the key to that, and how much pride do you two take in it? <sighs> just coming out every day and uh, practice and just competing with each other, you know, just working on our, our skills to get better you know, each, each and every day. So, you know, we emphasize that and uh, try, try not to get tackled in the backfield and things like that. So we're working that every day. So. Chris? How confident are you in Moody now when he gets up to the kick like that? I, I Moody got all my confidence. I trust him wherever the ball is, so he got 100% all my, my confidence. Austin? So you guys had to mix and match a little bit up front with some guys going in and out, especially at the guard spots. How do you feel like the offensive line handled that for you? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, every single uh, uh, offensive lineman is ready to go in at any time, you know, whatever. Whatever happens, so you know I, I got my trust in them. So I know they can do their job. You know. Zach, uh, Mazi, can you talk about what you guys did in that first half? It seemed like you really kept Adrian Martinez contained. Um, you know, we all see his scrambles. We all know he's a dangerous player, um, and it was an emphasis all week to contain him. Uh, whether it be up front, whether it be on the back end, whether he's running the option, um, we know. Uh, we wanted to win this game, we had to stop. All right, sorry to be short. We're going to go final question here to Angelique. 
was just wondering if, if either of you had a view of uh, Dax's interception and what you made of that. Dax's yeah. monster, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dax like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, He's been like that since he got it. Thank you.